Hey folks, Remy here. Um, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of end planes. So I'm going to start uh, with a scraper, a Veritas scraper. scraper. Uh, it has a very hard blade, uh, so it's very, very aggressive with the wood, and uh, it's not cutting; it's uh, scraping. So it makes fine shavings. If we compare it to a regular cardboard scrapper, the shavings are, are, are bigger. Next we have a, a modern classic interpretation of uh, an end plane. It fits very well in the end. It's super simple, nothing can break basically. It's very hard to set, but once, it, once it's set, it's going to stay set forever. So right now I, I set it to medium shaving. Next one is an antique. So this one is a pretty old. It's a stain, Stanley 220. You can replace that pretty easily. It's threaded. Um, and then you can set the blade. It's pretty convenient adjustment mechanism. It's a low angle, low angle blade. You can see here, the mouse is pretty small. So here I set it to take very big, uh, to make very big shavings. They are very, very strong. Okay, now we have a number two. So this is a, actually a piece of a, a collectible. This is a Stanley number two. And uh, it's hard to see on the camera, but it's a sweetheart. Um, so you have to have small ends uh, to make the most of it. Or else it's going to be pretty hard to use. As you can see, my, mine barely fits. The thing is, this, uh, this plane is a killer. <laughs> it's uh, very sturdy, uh, very precise. Now we have a number three, Stanley number three, which is a modern version. Uh, as you can see, the way to set the blade is actually pretty original. You have two screws, uh, no counter uh, blade, just a very simple mechanism, plastics, but the, the sword is actually super flat. And because there are two screws, very minimal vibrations, so this thing is pretty good to remove a lot of wood fast. It's light, so you can really uh, go for it. Now a more classical uh, Stanley number no. three Endymion. So this model is from Engl England. It's pretty hard to see, but uh, it's written here, there. Um, so. This is a very classical sole, it's a bit uh, narrower than the number 4, so it's, bit, it's more maniable, uh, it's more nimble, and it's lighter as well. It's a pretty potent <laughs> a plane when you sharpen the blade, like this one. Now the absolute classic, the Bailey number 4. Um, so this one is made in England, uh, so the great a uh, great time of Bailey. Um, it's uh, it's much wider. As you can see, there are traces because I flattened everything with a sharpening stone, uh, and I also made sure the angles were perfectly straight. So this one you can adjust uh, the opening here with one screw, which is uh, very convenient when you want to use it in practice. Um, again, I set it to a very wide, uh, very 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 big shaving, but you can adjust that. So now we're starting to, to be bigger. So this is a number five. Um, uh, Bailey from the USA this time, not from the US, uh, not, for, not from England. Stanley, and one of the specificities that I changed the, bla the blade, and I put a Veri Veritas PM, uh, PM v, uh, v V11 from Canada, which is a very expensive blade, very modern. Uh, basically the, be the best steel you can buy right now. This blade is like super sharp and very durable, so it's killing it. As you can see the sole has been corrugated, so there is less friction um, when you use it. So it's when you want to really remove a lot of wood, it's faster. You can see also by the pattern that I flattened it, but there is uh, not in the middle. 
so still there is even less friction. Also, uh, make sure the sides were square. Overall, it's in good shape. Now we're starting to be really big. So this is a number six from uh, Record, so Stanley, made in England. This one is pretty old, original color was blue, but uh, this was a long time ago. This is a very solid uh, piece of uh, iron. Uh, this, this one also has uh, original iron. So you can tell by the sound uh, that uh, this one is much longer, and so it's going to make everything flatter over a long surface. So now this is getting pretty big, pretty hard to show on the camera. This is a Bailey number seven uh, with a corrugated sole, which I think is pretty, pretty rare. You can see the side is also straight. So this is wide. <laughs> Uh, but this is heavy, but at the same time you have you don't have a lot of friction. So this one is the original blade, and it's a sweetheart blade. Last we have a number eight. So this one is very beasty. I put a Veritas blade O1 in it. This is a wide plane with a narrow mouse to make very fine shavings if you want to. Here I set it in pretty aggressive way to match the other ones. Here you go. So with this blade sharp, this is a beast. One downside of this one is that you cannot adjust the lateral position of the blade. So because this is broken, so what you have to do is just what you would do with a wooden with a wooden plane. So you just and type tape it, uh, tap it to adjust it. Great plane, otherwise. <laughs>